Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We're about to beat the shit out of two little kids. Why are you paralyzed? Oh, right. I forgot. I totally forgot. We took a little break. Paralyzed, yo. What the f- Dude, aren't we like- What's up? D like down the street from a Pokemon Center? Dude. We that guy's running in place. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ben's like, I don't want to go anywhere near what's happening right now. <laughs> yo, Jason, can I tell you a joke? Sure. Why did the bike fall over? Why? <laughs> it was too tired. Because, <laughs> so oh, like, it's got two tires, right? So it's like two tires. Because it's also got two tires. <laughs> okay. Uh. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, who's Shadow Ball Super Effective on? Oh, really? Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, ah, fuck. Um, <clears throat> God, Mr. Mime Jr., you're dead. Dude, Ash's mom claps Mr. Mime. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Doesn't what Ash's happened? mom have like Mr. Mime or something? Yeah, she got a Mr. Mime like hanging around. Dude, it's like a man in which is wearing a clown outfit. It's not. It's a Pokemon. <clears throat> it's a Pokemon that likes human uh, attention. Exactly. Exactly my point. Well, I'm gonna switch out this girl. Um, dude, don't think about it too much, okay? Oh, okay, speaking of paralysis. Yep. Wait, we were just. He just had paralysis, right? Yeah, yeah. I have you ever had sleep paralysis? I have not. No. Have you? Yes, I have. Oh my god! Walk it's me through it. Terrifying. Walk me through it. So the first time I've had it multiple times. Oh shit. Yeah. So the first time I had sleep paralysis, I was. At my mom's house, and it was one of the old older houses. Okay. Uh, so, so I was I went to bed pretty early that night, mm -hmm. and I I usually I usually cannot have my back to anything. Well, like I can't have my back vulnerable. So you have I, to be sleeping like towards the door. You I mean? have to be sleeping towards the door. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I <clears> struggle <throat> to sleep when a bed is in the middle of a room. Oh, uh, really? Yes, it needs to be out against the wall. Mm -hmm. So, I was facing my my bedroom, and in my bedroom there's my there was my TV, on and then under my TV was my computer. So I fell asleep. <laughs> Dude, Ben, what the fuck? Get out of my way. Okay. So I I fell asleep facing my. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, girl. I fell asleep facing my computer, mm -hmm. and. I just remember waking up, and when I tried to get up, I couldn't get up. I was like, what the heck is going on? I was fighting so hard to move my body, and I couldn't. And I heard my brother in his room, and I was just trying so hard to scream for my brother, because I was, like, paralyzed, pretty much. I was, like, trying to yell so hard. It was, like, for, like, five minutes, and it Wow. Five minutes being paralyzed is a very long time. Jesus, man. And then I finally said my brother's name, and I woke up. Well, not, I, I mean, I guess I was already got awake, up. but yeah. I got up. Weird. It was terrifying. But for some reason, do you know old, like, do you know how they have, like, old VCR tapes, and if something's wrong, it, like, d the screen, like, doubles? Yeah, I know what you mean. It, my vision was like that. Oh, I gotcha. The second time I had sleep paralysis... I was laying on my back, mm -hmm. facing my ceiling. Yeah. I realize now that every time I fall asleep on my back, I get sleep paralysis. <laughs> so, I was on my back and I was staring at my ceiling, and I was like, I was like, dang it, it's happening again. And I was fighting so hard to move, and I just couldn't move. And I felt like I was in there for a while. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, and not in the corner of my eye, but like under me. There was a black figure sitting on my body. Oh, really? It was like a black... It was like a black... It was like... It, it had the shape of a person. Mm -hmm. But there, it was all pitch black, the person. And he was sitting on my body. And I just felt like I was being stabbed on my side. Oh, shit. And I could not get up. And then I finally snapped out of it. And I was in the same exact spot, looking in the same exact spot. Shit, that's scary, man. Yeah, dude, there's multiple times where I've seen monsters. 
Why is my phone buzzing? It's good. Is that an important call? No. Continue. Okay. Yo, well, the, what they say with, um, whenever you experience that shit, um, they say the, you just have to relax and, like, close your eyes and try to fall back to sleep and it'll go away. Yeah. That's, that's what I've heard. I've never experienced it so before. So, the moment I'm able to control my body, yeah, I snap out of it. So, like, like I... I started to realize that every time I get sleep paralysis, I have to move, try, try to just move a single finger. And the moment I move a finger, I snap out of it. Mm -hmm. Wow, weird. Yeah. Actually, the other day I had a sleep paralysis. It was really bad. Weird, man. Yeah. It was, there was like an, there was like a, a like a very, very pale white girl with white hair and her eyes were just completely white. Well, now you're just turning me on. <laughs> And she was just standing next to my bed. She wasn't even looking at me. Really? She was like right up in my face, but she was looking down towards my body. <laughs> and I was just like trying to like keep shut my eyes, but I couldn't. That's terrifying. I was just staring right at her. So real quick. Yeah. I hate it. Oh my God. Fucking. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ben. Right, so so this is one of the things where it's a puzzle, right? Because if you were to go into full throttle and start here, you wouldn't be able to speed up enough to go up the hill, right? Yes. But that's not how the... So, like, what the puzzle was, like, you had to, like, do that to make sure you could stay the speed. And that was, like, the puzzle. Yeah. But you, that doesn't... It doesn't matter anymore. You could just go up. Because the bike is broken. That's stupid. It's that's fucking good. so stupid. Wait, they don't change... They didn't fix it in the update, right? I'm not sure if they did or not. I'm scared to check. I don't want to fight people. I just want to move on. All right, here we are. Oh, do they have great balls here? Uh, they have the daycare here. Oh. Uh, I'll check, though. So you've never had sleep paralysis? Nah. I have one more sleep paralysis story that was hilarious. Dude, I've had like a million wet dreams. I've never had a wet dream. Well, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wet dreams are awesome. Yeah, but when you wake up, is it awesome? <laughs> I don't know why I just saw this. It has nothing to do with my wet dreams. It's just something that popped in my head randomly. Did you see the thing I posted on my story? On my story, it was Dora the Destroyer. Yes, I did. <laughs> what video game was it? It looked like Skyrim or something, and somebody customized like, like this big beefy man and made him look like exactly like Dora, and it was the funniest yeah. shit. Oh. Wait, what are we doing here? How does the daycare? I want to put. Are you actually flashlight dropping here. flashlight here? Yeah. Uh, I will get in my box. Yeah, okay. uh, Why are you doing that? Light? Why are we doing that? Though? Why not? Confirm. Isn't he gonna be weak? Um, no, he'll be good. That's all. Why is it? No, that's good. Now what? Are you done yet? That, yeah, okay. Yep. That doesn't make him weak. No. It'll level him up quicker. Yeah, but it'll level him up, and it won't increase his stats, right? No, it will. He just won't get like the special IV EV stuff. I don't but that's okay. What IV EVs are. Yeah, I, it, it's not that important. <laughs> it's only important if you want to do competitive stuff. All right, new route. Mm. Um, I don't actually know what we can get here. Wait, did we skip a gym? No, th there's some time between the second and third gym. Okay. We got Ponyta already. So we kill that bitch. Oh, yeah. Pennywise, go get him. So I had another sleep paralysis that I was lying facing my room again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, my bedroom door just swung open. Really? So whenever I get this stuff, all the settings like in my like room turns like like a dark. It's like it's like blue. I gotcha. Yeah. So my door swung open, and then it slammed closed. And then my closet door swung open and slammed closed. The fuck? And then my bedroom door slowly started open, but it opened just a crack. And then, like, from this, then, but, like, the hallway was pitch black. I gotcha. All of a sudden, I started hearing, like, footsteps. And then what walked into my room was a seagull. A what? A seagull? A seagull. Like a bird. Like a bird. Like a seagull bird. He walked in my room, tried, walked up to my bed, stared at me, and then jumped on me and sat behind me. And I couldn't turn around to see him. Oh, that's that's and, that's annoying. Yeah, and he was behind me, and I was like trying to fight, like get this thing off of me, but I couldn't <laughs> move. 
and then I snapped out of it. No, my door closed, and then I snapped out of it. What the fuck? That's weird. Yeah. Sleep paralysis is not fun. That's really fucking weird. It's terrifying. Like, the first times, the first two times where I saw, like, monsters, I was terrified to go back to sleep. That sucks. Yeah. That fucking sucks. A bomb. I hope the monsters don't kill you. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what typing is it? is a normal type, which means you're kind of useless. Go to Pabby again. No, we'll go to, um, Rocket. We haven't given, been giving Pabby and Rocket enough love. Have you had any terrifying dreams before? Um, I haven't had a terrifying dream in a long time. I don't know. I get nightmares every once in a while, but I blow them off almost immediately nowadays. Yeah? Yeah. Like you don't remember them? Well, like, I remember them for a moment, but then I, like, don't care. Yeah. And they're gone. And a lot of the nightmares I've been having have been, like, so intriguing that I wanted to keep sleeping through it. I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have a nightmare about, like, you're running away from aliens and shit. And the you were like, but I kind of want to see what happens Yeah, next. but I kind of want to see where this goes. <laughs> the other night, I think like, it was, like, two weeks ago, I had a dream about that my family died in a tsunami. Ooh. And I had the chance, somebody told me I had the chance to go back in time and try and save them. What? So I went back in time, kind of, and I, w I went where they were. They were on this, like, tropical island. Okay. So I had multiple dreams about tsunamis. I don't know why. But Maybe it means you had to pay. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking no. know. <laughs> so I went to my family's house, and there was, like, buildings that were, like, three stories tall. I'm like, all right. I'm going to get my family and bring them to the top of the building and maybe they'll survive this. Yeah. And now, for some reason, this building was, uh, like, it was a really thin island. Yeah. Like, thinner than the island that we have. Okay. So, I brought them to the top floor of the house, but my dad was on the second floor because he said something, he's, like, trying to fix something and he's complaining <clears> that <throat> something wasn't working. Okay. And then I bring, like, my mom, brother, and sister to the top floor. And it's, like, under construction for some reason. Okay. And then all of a sudden, I hear something outside, and I look out the window, because it got, like, dark. I looked out the window, and all I see from the water is a wave, like, ten times the size of the house that I was in. Shh. And I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. And then I, I like, woke up. I, I actually, no, no, I don't want to, I didn't say I want to be here. I said, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, because you had a feeling you were in a dream? Well, I, I, yeah. Like, once I saw that wave, I knew I was dreaming. I was like, but I don't want to see what happens next. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. It's been great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out E5000. Yeah, I love it when you realize you're in a dream. Yeah. I've only had a lucid dream once from realizing. Really? Yeah. I realize it a lot. Sometimes I'll be like... Whoa, I'm in a dream. And then I try to make myself wake up, and then I stop, and I'm like, wait. I can, like, just chill in here for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> it's super hard to do anything, though. The one and only time that I started being able to control my dream, mm -hmm. I was at my old house. And my... And I was just, like, hanging out in the house. And, like, my dog and cat came along, and they were there. And I was like, like saying like hi to my dog and stuff. And I was like, wait a second. He's, they're both dead. Oh, like, wait, I'm dreaming. Wait, I could fly. <laughs> and I just started flying and I woke up. That's fucking, it's fucking sick, man. Dude, I love having dreams where I start flying. It's so much fun. It's always the same though. It, it's not like I'm really flying. It feels like, like I'm gliding in the wind. Yeah. No, I just started levitating, but I got too excited and I woke up. <laughs> that happens, man. Wait, so did we catch anything in this route yet? No, we didn't. Okay. I'm not sure what's new, but I've been battling trainers. I've been so... I haven't thinking about dreams. Dude, um, do you remember the, the movie The Mask? The Green Mask? The yeah, yeah, where it makes people Jim look Carrey, crazy yeah. and weird. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Um, the dog, when the dog got the mask, it legitimately terrified me. <laughs> I and, remember that scene. It was horrifying. Oh, yeah. I remember they sold the McDonald's toys or whatever. And when I was a kid, I got the McDonald's version of... Sorry, it should be so 
I got the McDonald's version of like the the dog. Yeah. And it came with like a card and showed a picture. It freaked me out so much. I used to hide it in like the deepest parts of my drawers and like keep it there. And I used to have uh, nightmares <laughs> where the dog would be like spying on me and my family from a like, distance, and I was the only one who knew that like he was there. <laughs> it was fucking terrifying. And I need to switch him out. Spot. Because I don't want to deal with bite. A lot of my <clears throat> dreams are sad and terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't thinking about it. Well, those are the ones you remember. Because they're just That's negative. True. You remember That's true. You remember the negative things. It's, um... It's crazy, right? Because... This was an incredibly long time ago. Maybe like the 1910s or 1920s. Maybe even earlier. People used to experiment destroying a part of the brain that caused, like, fear or whatever. Like, that yeah. generated fear. Because some people would have these awful nightmares of, like, being chased and shit. And, like, it would they wouldn't be able to sleep. So, scientists used to stick poles in, like, the center of their foreheads. And specifically damage just one part of the brain so they wouldn't feel fear anymore. And, um, basically what happened, they didn't stop having the dreams... But the dreams changed, so instead of getting chased by angry dogs, they were getting chased by puppies. And it wouldn't scare them, but it would still be the same dream. Like, isn't that weird? Yeah, that is really weird. God. The mind's so crazy. Oh, yeah. The mind can fucking do anything it wants. Like, with the whole deja vu thing, like, you see little fragments of pretty much the future. Like, that's weird. And I, I think that's because our minds are a lot stronger than we think. Like, our minds can predict the future incredibly well. And we just don't, don't even know it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we have all the factors we need to, like, figure out what's going to happen tomorrow, like, to a T. But, like, we don't. But when we're asleep and our mind's just kind of fucking around, it figures it out for fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we already have a Geodude. Confuse this motherfucker. Why don't you just use the fire gyro ball? It's Gyros only good if so I'm good. slower than him. I haven't had a gyro in a while. God. Penny kind of blows. I may put him behind the team for a little bit. I'm just going to run. I don't want to deal with this. Um, yeah, I got to figure out. I got to figure out my boy. You know what would be awesome? What's that? If you could share dreams. Share dreams? Yeah. If we went to each other's heads and had the same dream, they'll figure that out. Give it a day or two. <laughs> give it a day or two? Yeah, give it a day or two. They're, aren't they tra doing like a lot of research on on brains for dreams right now? I bet they are. I, I bet they do it all the time, you know? Swap you. Let me give Pabby some love. Dude, how did... How did this, this conversation was just about sleeping. Oh, yeah, sleep paralysis. Man, sleep paralysis. Dreams, man. Dreams are fun. Dreams are fun. I've only had sex oh, wait, in my isn't... dreams like three times. Wait, what'd you say? I've only ever had sex in my dream three times. Dude, I've had sex. I have sex all the time in my goddamn dreams. Are you kidding really? me? Dude, fuck, fucking's on my mind. What, what do I, what, what How else can I say? How many times have you dreamt about fucking me? I think twice. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you actually? Did you actually? Yeah, I'm actually serious. I had a dream before. I, I woke up and was like, that's fucking weird. I'm not attracted to him at all. But actually, I looked into it, right? And apparently, if you have dreams about having, like, sexual relations with, like, close friends, it simply means they're your close friend. Aww. And, like, yeah, <laughs> that's, like, all it means. Wait. I had I had sex about with one of my friends mm -hmm. one time. What are, you what are you talking about? Like, in real life or dreaming? No, in, no, dream. I didn't <laughs> fuck him in, act in real life. Why not? I don't know. But, it, <laughs> but you know what the weird thing about it is? <laughs> yeah, what? Later that day... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he messaged me and asked me to hang out. Just me and him. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you guys have sex? No, nah, but I wish we did. <laughs> that's fucking... Yeah, it's it's cool. That's that's apparently... What, was it a close friend? You don't say yeah. his name. Yeah. Yeah. That, see, like, that's... that's it's I don't know. It's fucking cool. I should message him and tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream, but I fucked you. <laughs> that was years ago, too. Oh, yeah? The mind yeah. was like... No. Dude, uh, just last like, night? Yeah. Dude, that's why, I, that's why I invited you over now. Oh, God. No, it was like a, it was like six months ago. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, I get what the dream. I, mean, I don't. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to do something, Jason? I would like to point out I was receiving. If that makes you feel any more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Jack. Oh boy. 
kill yourself. Yeah! I had sex with two people in my dreams. Like two at the same time or Wait, just two separate no, people? No, two separate friends. Okay. I don't know if, you know, I don't know if we had sex in my dream before, Jack. Alright, well, fuck you, dude. Apparently, you don't love no, me enough. No, I don't know. Because for all I know, it could have been years ago, but, like, fuck, dude. I just remembered that I had sex with the one friend in my dream just now. <laughs> like, I'm getting offended. You're not what sleeping with fuck? me in your dream? You know, Jack, we probably oh, did have sex in my dream before. I just don't remember. Yeah. We're this, good friends. This is a new route, by the way, 215. 215? We still need to catch something in the other route. I know, but I could only find Geo dudes and shit in there. Yeah. I don't feel like looking. I think I can find Krogonks here. I don't know. But anyways, <sighs> next time on the shelf life. Wait. <gasps> oh! 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 Um, um, um. Should we do this in the next episode? Um, next episode of the shelf life. Guy. We're gonna catch a motherfucking cadavers. Thanks for watching. Cool.